Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So unfortunately, I have some bad news. I was going to the SEC dumpster and I was hoping to find like new yield backs or defiance funds. But unfortunately, I actually found the opposite. So defiance withdrew some SEC filings. And the worst part is some of these, actually all of these have ticker symbols. So I made an incorrect assumption that, you know, if, if a ETF has a ticker symbol, that probably was a good sign. Unfortunately, that's not a guarantee. So according to this document, uh, this was filed January 10th. So it's saying that pursuant to Rule 477 under the Securities Act of 1933, the trust will respectfully re request withdrawal of the following post-effective amendments. So it's these, uh, I guess like these four ETFs over here. So there, apparently there was like a, Bull, a 2x bull banks daily ETF, a 2x bull oil and gas, 2x retail, and a 2x bull tech. So this must have been before I guess I was paying attention to like the SEC dumpster. So I I didn't even know these these were even in the works. So and then also this second document they're pulling a, a 2x bull semiconductor and a and a uh, 2x airline ETF as well. So that this is a real shame. I, I would have liked to see how they would have competed against uh like say for example ProShares and Direxion. Because those are kind of like the I guess like the market leaders in terms of leveraged ETFs. So it's a really shame that we won't be able to see these, at least for for the uh foreseeable future. So I guess like SEC filings they have to be either approved or at least not withdrawn. So I guess like the good news is that the SEC didn't outright reject these. It was just like from defiance of themselves. And I'm really hoping that this isn't like a sign of things to come. I, I really hope that they can save EEMY and EFAY. I think these will be really good for portfolio diversification. Because I know a lot of us, especially my subscribers, like we're probably into like triple QY, JEPY, and IWMY. And probably some Umax funds as well, so you know this is it's a real shame. And these are they had pretty good ticker symbols, I thought too. So, like SM, SEMZ, Jets, BNKX, Oil X, IX, and Triple QZ. Like for example, I think like like for myself personally, I would have thought like the SEMZ, like the semiconductor one, the Oil X, and the Triple QZ would have been helpful for me. Because I think like this would have been helpful for like offsetting some of the NAB erosion on like certain funds. So like for example, if you're into like more tech-based names, like the the SMZ would have been really helpful. Uh, I would have really liked Oil X because this could have been a like like a nice like counterpart to like uh, Shomo like XOMO, and the Triple QZ would have been helpful for like people with uh, Triple QY. So I mean I mean they would. Would have lined up like nicely too in terms of just like like the ticker symbols and everything so it's a real shame um i wish they would have given like a better explanation but i guess like they you know defines doesn't owe us anything because like i guess like originally they filed also for like evxx i mean this one is live but i guess like maybe they changed the maybe like the the focus of it because i think that the regular evxx right now is just like a regular ETF. And then maybe like there's hope that they can maybe repurpose these ticker symbols for like something else. So I don't know guys, I, I wish I had better news. And I really hope this isn't like the, the end of like the, uh, um, like the new like defined ETFs. Cause this looks like there's been cooking for some time now. I guess like the original one was like, this one was dated October 17, 2022. This guy was September 2nd. 2022 so i mean it's been like some of these guys were in the works for like you know over a year um yeah it's, it's a real shame I, i'm i'm also like kind of like grasping at straws here maybe it's because it's not mr j maybe it's not you know uh zega related so maybe they had like a lack of confidence in whoever this portfolio manager is because I, I don't recall like the seeing the name rafael zayas on any of the other defines ETFs. I mean, it's a different subadvisor too, so I'm, I'm not sure if this is part of the reason why. 
So I I don't want to get people's hopes up anymore. So like, I don't know if they're they'll come out with any crypto zero DTEs or any. Although I think there probably will be crypto cover call ETFs on like the regular spot ETFs. I mean, it's too lucrative not to. And then I don't know of anything for like the individual stock zero DTEs. Maybe they'll come out with more complex option ETFs. Like I was kind of hoping for double diagonals, buying condors, like ratio spreads and strangles personally. But, you know, I guess like don't get your hopes up or don't pin your hope in any one company. So I wish I had better news, unfortunately. It, it didn't work out uh, this time. But maybe in the future, uh, there'll be some some goodies that we haven't seen or maybe like some more positive updates. So I know like, you know, YMAX and YMAG, uh, I think are pretty helpful. But I think like I really want to see the, the other ones that they had uh, planned too. So, you know, if you, you like this type of content, uh, please consider giving this a like. I appreciate all subscriptions. Anything to help grow the channel and spread awareness of, about these funds, I think would be awesome. And, you know, STC dumpster diving is hard work. Sometimes it, it doesn't always work out. So thank you for watching. I hope people make some good money in 2024. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.